today is the Brave Edge multi-tool. Let's open this bad boy up. All right, right off the bat, nice little case for it. Feels good enough. Stitching looks all right. Tug nice and hard on it. Let's see what else is in the box. Ooh, this is a treasure. Specifications. Numbers, words, whatever. Instructions. Warm tips. This product contains one or more sharp tools. And please pay attention to your hands when using it. Do not place the product in a damp environment. And please keep it out of reach of children. Treasure. Okay, so I'm going to keep that in this guy. Because I have a feeling that that warning there is... Uh, because it might rust pretty easily. We'll see about that. I'll have to comment in the future down in the description box if there are any uh, issues with durability and uh, longevity of the item, such as rust. Without further ado, let's get into this guy here. All right. Ooh, plastic. Uh, feels good, nice and heavy. Open the bad boy up. Let's go in order here. Needle nose pliers, check. Standard pliers, that's these guys right here, check. Uh, wire cutter, already went over that, boom. And uh, saw, all right, let's bust that guy out. That's number four, and that should be right here. No, this way. Cool, let's close this guy up. All right. Feels all right, I mean, it's not super sharp, but get the job done. Metal seems pretty hard. No real complaints there. What's number five? Flat screwdriver. Let's just get all of these things out here. This guy up, take it from this end. All right, so we have Five, six, and seven are flat screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, flat screwdriver, two different flat screwdrivers, one Phillips screwdriver. Look all right. Hardness feels pretty good. I mean, Phillips heads are always kind of weird on multi-tools like this, or at least I tend to find that they are. I'm trying to focus on this guy. There we go. Um, this doesn't really seem any different. Uh, the cuts are very similar this might be a little shallower but I think it would get the job done there's two Phillips heads there and we are not done with the Phillips heads so these guys are good standard multi-tool stuff boom shut this guy probably should have done that first knife lock it into place seems to lock all right there's a locking mechanism here unlock that fold it down let's get these other tools out now Okay, another flat head with a bottle opener. And here's a, you're calling this a, what are they calling this? What tool is this? You're calling this a 10, 11, eight flat screwdriver. That's gonna be, this guy nine Phillips screwdriver 10 can opener 11 knife and it's just in the wrong order this let's get rid of these guys right there's your can opener I've had can openers before that were sharp I've had can openers before that were dull it's a pain in the ass either way. <laughs> uh, this is very dull. So keep that in mind if you are going to actually use this for opening cans. I don't know why they're saying that this though, is a Phillips screwdriver, because it's not, not sharp. Like, at all. Maybe it's not supposed to be. I don't know. Whatever. 
Anyway, for what it's worth, there are no tools on here that I was hoping to have that I felt were bad. It feels good. I like it. I like the way it looks. Design's pretty cool. I like how it's kind of open here. That probably reduces some of the weight, but this is still a relatively heavy tool. Um, as you can see in the palm of my hand, that's how big it is. And uh, nice little case. And this little silica gel treasure in there to help prevent rust. And this is going to go into my bug out bag. Thanks guys.